course of the day here on GB News, of course. But in the meantime, papers for you this morning. We need a bit of entertaining. So we've got Christopher Biggins in, as well as writer and commentator Candice Holdsworth. Good to see you both. See you both, yes. um, Let's kick off with the Express, Biggins, should we? Um, uh, yeah. Drivers not benefiting from the fuel duty freeze. What a surprise. I know. Another thing. So they, they, I think there's been a 5p cut to uh, petrol, but not to diesel, much to the uh, dismay of people who... Of course, the trouble is, we were all told to do... We're like, you know, uh, sheep. We, we do what we're told. We all told that diesel was the best, and we all go out and get a diesel car, then it's not, and then yeah. they charge us. Then we... I mean, I, I... Four years... No, eight years ago. What am I talking about? Four years ago. Went and bought an electric car. And, of course, electric now is uh, not the way forward. I mean, you know, it's, it should have been water should have been hydrogen that we yeah. had our cars out of. It's going it's to change all the time. But they expect us to go and spend money on diesel cars, and they don't help us at all. So there's been a, a human outcry mm. at the pumps, because they are, you know, um, getting a miserable deal, um, diesel drivers. Yeah, they are. Mm. They are. But, I mean, this whole, the whole fuel duty thing is very odd, because it's, it, it, it didn't seem to be implemented by all petrols. So, and how do you tell if it's been implemented at a petrol station. I know, I know. I mean, I, I, it, it's, a, it's a mystery, isn't it? It's a total yeah. mystery. Yeah. What do you, do you have a diesel car? No, I don't. I've got petrol now, but I was diesel. I changed to petrol uh, in August. Yeah. But I have been diesel because I do a lot of miles, and so it was. it yeah. is more economical. Yeah, I know. In the end, you just sort of think, oh, I, I daren't get diesel now. I just sort of daren't do it. No. <laughs> I know, it, it's, it, there's so many things against, you know, with, with cars. I mean, electric cars are great. I mean, I love my little electric car. And I, you know, I've, it's, but it's only really for a run around in yeah, London. So yeah. Good. You know, for doing long distances. That's the problem. I mean, I went to Darlington to do pantomime at Christmas, and we packed our car up, this little Fiat. And A, there was not enough room, and also, B, I was terrified, because we'd have to stop twice to refuel it. Yeah. And you're not sure whether they're working these, uh, you know, Electric points on that. How long did? How long on each stop? Well, I, we didn't. I oh, you didn't have hired to. a car in the end. I oh, mean, right. I've got a driver, so uh, you know. Because, but it's just, it's just a bit frightening. You, you, you want to get there in time, and you, are, you, you can't. The yeah. infrastructure just isn't there yet. No, it's I mean, not. What, what's the mileage you can get? One hundred and sixty. However, that's what yeah. they say. But then, you know, you have electric windows, you have uh, electric wipers, you have an electric roof. Yeah. All of that but takes heat. energy. Yeah. Heating mm -hmm. and. That takes, so you're down to about 90, uh, I would think, you know, at the end of the day. But we've got a, we're lucky because we've got a charger in the garage. Right. So we can charge our car at home every night. So that works brilliantly. But if you haven't and you have to go and find a charger, then you're in real trouble. Mm. Yeah. No, it, it, is, it is a worry. But it will get better. It will get better. It will get better. In our lifetime? Yes. Do you think so? Yeah, I think, yeah, it, I think, I think it will so. happen quite quickly. What was that? I think it will happen quite Do you? quickly. Oh, yeah. good. Well, well I, I, there's this push, isn't there, for electric vehicles and phasing out, yeah. uh, you know, diesel cars by 2030 and all those kind of things. So they're going to have to. They're going to have to make it work. Yes, and Tesla coming down in price was actually very good recently because mm. they dropped their prices hugely. Oh, just as well because they're very expensive. Very expensive. Lovely car, though. Beautiful yeah. cars. Yeah. Uh, Candice, let's uh, go to you now. And, and this is in the Express. Rolls Royce given almost £3 million by the UK Space Agency to build a nuclear reactor. Yes, on the very space age. Yes. Yeah. Good. So this story is how Rolls-Royce have been given £2.9 million by the UK Space Agency to build a nuclear reactor on the moon to fuel energy, whatever experiments they'll be doing there, whatever work they'll be doing there. And they also said one day maybe living on the moon, which is not something I think we've heard for decades, that no. we could be living on the moon. It's actually, it's, it's fascinating to look at this, the way private companies like Rolls-Royce, which have such a depth of engineering and science knowledge, are working with the government to do things. I mean, you see this in the US with SpaceX and NASA. They sort of work together in partnership to do things. And, you know, it could be really exciting. You know, I would love it if we were entering a new era of space exploration. Mm. Would you like to live on the moon? <laughs> I so I would not like to live on another planet because I would hate to be separated from my family and friends. Oh. <laughs> Let me check them with you. Yeah. It'd be I don't know. if they had a waitress out there. Because, uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> what I think, would you go, Biggins? I would go if they had a waitress. If they had a waitress. <laughs> I tell you what, I mean, it's, 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 it's not going to be for for us to live on the moon, though, is it? It's, no. it, it's for the scientists and astronauts 
and all the rest of it. Because yeah. if you can launch things from the moon, then that's a lot cheaper and a lot yeah. a lot better to get yes. actually out into the further yes. out of the solar yes. system. Mm. Yeah, it would be amazing in our lifetimes if we saw that. A lunar, yeah, we've got to have a lunar base. And yeah. for the UK to lead on it as well. That would yeah. be really yeah, cool. Yeah, I like yeah. the fact that you yeah. could be leading on yeah. it. That's great. Would you get Netflix up there, though? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Not yeah. yet. There's all sorts of things. But all, the, all these things could be possible. Exactly. Um, something I'd like to see is hash browns removed from a full English what? breakfast. What? I hate do? the hash browns. Do you? Do I don't Something like wrong them at the all. I ru they Get ruin it. Grip. They ruin it for me. They're, it's gorgeous. Anyway, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. What do you the mean you're alone? There, there's a call to ban hash browns from a full Yeah, I know. Tonight. It's another one Agreed. of these surveys. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, a hash brown no, is I'm just... No, I'm with them on this. Are you? I am. What about black pudding? Do you like That's black pudding? That's also a write-off. Yeah, that has to go too. <laughs> so what do you, what's your breakfast then? A right. poached egg? <laughs> <laughs> Sausages. Yes. Eggs. Oh, toast. Yes. Beans. Lots of beans. Lots of beans. Four Beans. items. Let's not complicate the issue. You do like a sausage, don't you? <laughs> she, does like, she does like a sausage. We she all do. We're all doing for a sausage. I do. I love a sausage sandwich. I do. I do. Bacon. You mention, did you mention no, bacon? No, I, I could do that bacon as well, yeah. You're, don't be so silly. <laughs> what about a bacon sandwich? No, it doesn't do it. Bacon me. sandwich is, is one of the great breakfasts of all time. Mm. So, so, so what is wrong with a hash brown, according to these people? Well, I suppose what they're saying is uh, it, 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 it's a lazy uh, dish, you know, it's, it's, it's just potato fried. And, My thoughts, uh, exactly, yeah. Well, they're, they're, you're right there, then. But, I mean, it's, it's uh, the English Breakfast Society have said that, that they can't afford to have these American things come into the English breakfast. So, from that point of view, I suppose it's true. So what should we be having? Is that bubble and squeaks? Yeah, right? bubble and squeak, they're very, they're, they're, that's positive. Yeah. They're, they're quite, I don't like bubble and squeak, funnily enough. Uh. Do you like bubble and squeak? I, I don't mind bubble and squeak. No. But I prefer a hash brown. <laughs> yeah, I prefer a hash brown. I, I, I like just potato, and it's yeah. crunchy and fried. We yes. do it wonderfully. Yes. Uh, but I, I think uh, I, it's lovely. I love staying in hotels because when you, because invariably we don't do a cooked breakfast at, yeah. at home. But I think when you go to stay in a hotel, it's wonderful to have a cooked breakfast. I mean, it's the best thing. Yeah. Mm. So what would be your perfect breakfast now? I'm intrigued. Well, I would. I always have uh, a poached egg because I think that Help. when you go to a hotel, you the egg. Are, are really disgusting. They're all congealed and awful. And scrambled yeah. egg is the same. Whereas a poached egg, they have to cook almost at the same. Are you bored? Sorry. No, no, no. sorry. I, sorry. I look I at just, his watch. No, I've got, a, I've got a message. I've got a message. It flashes <laughs> through on my watch. Oh, does it? So there you go. So I, was just, I thought it may be my producer or something. Oh, yes, yeah. We're really it's not. It's not. not. <laughs> um, anyway. Sorry, carry uh, on, Biggins. Poached poached egg. The poached egg is fresh. Definitely crispy bacon. Yes. <laughs> It has wow. to be crispy, not uh, back bacon. I love crispy bacon, streaky crispy yeah. bacon. And baked beans, absolutely. I also like um, uh, tomatoes and um, uh, and uh, black pudding. I really like black pudding. Do you? Yeah. yeah, it's very nice. It gives a bit of spice to the breakfast. I, for the first, when I was up in Scotland the other week, I actually saw in the supermarket there they had... Vegetarian black. Pudding. Oh. Now I'm a well, I'm a vegetarian. I've been for forty odd years, and and but I couldn't have veg. I just thought no, that's a step too far. No, no. I, I don't. I don't know what the appeal of that is. No. And just what's your favourite full English? What would be on it? <laughs> so it would be scrambled eggs, crispy oh. bacon. Oh, you two would go go with yeah. breakfast, yeah. Sausage, tomato, and mushrooms. Oh, I'm so a big fan of mushrooms. Yeah. Yes. No beans? And beans. I was oh, about to say beans. beans. Yes, my mum sort of inculcated that into me. Mushrooms and beans. you got to have that. Yeah. yeah. No, that sounds pretty good to me. I'd, I'd, Stephen, it's your turn now. Uh, well, I'd, I'd, I'd go for all of that. Vegetarian bacon, you know, which is pretty good these days. But hash browns, I think they're my favourite part. Lots of hash browns. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Four or five. No, I like so, it. I just come back from four America. Four or five. Oh, I've just yeah. been to New York, and uh, my favourite breakfast in New York is $5 pancakes right. plus crispy bacon and maple syrup. Oh, it's to oh, die. Uh, you go. Well, look, Very that's good. what we want to hear from you about this morning. GB oh, already, News already GB coming News. in Chris, uh, yeah. Hash browns or no hash browns? No, hash browns. I think you've got to go with a hash brown. No, you yeah. don't want a hash brown. Robert says hash browns are nasty, right up there with manky mushrooms. <laughs> 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 Robert. Sorry, Robert. I've got a fan no. There. No. no, but anyway, so keep your thoughts through on that. I'll keep us talking this morning yeah. and make us quite hungry as well. Uh, thank you both. We'll catch up with you a little bit thank later you. on.